Lucas Media, DJ Wagner, is now transferring from the University of Kentucky after his freshman season. Now, DJ Wagner, who averaged nine points and 3.3 assists, um, was the former McDonald's All-American, a top five ranking coming out of high school. Now, look, now this, I see several options. Some people say he might move, go to Ohio State or Ohio State, UConn, Villanova. I heard different places he may go. And I, I'm going to say this, too. It's okay if he doesn't go with Coach Cal. I mean, I know Coach Cal put him in the best position. And it just looked like he, he, he wasn't the right fit for Kentucky. Now, I see people that are saying... He may not be an NBA draft player. And look, we have to, as people, just because you're the number one high school player doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be the number one college player. Just because you're the number one college player doesn't mean you're going to be the number one pro. And with a DJ Wagner, it takes most people to adjust. We think that it's, it's gotten so bad to where people now in middle school care about being the number one sixth grader in the world and just me having kids that grew up in a farm system in the south you see people peak at different times i remember seeing a player who he was in eighth grade so my son might have been in maybe like fifth grade he was in eighth grade and you look like you could plug him in at a division one school and he ended up not even playing college football. But then there were players on the same team that ended up going Division One. But he was like an All-American as an eighth grader. So we have to stop putting so much expectation on these kids. And it takes everybody peaks at the right time. So DJ Wagner might be an all-star. It's just going to take him a couple of years to adjust to the new you know, college in the NBA. That's all. I mean, if we're, if we're being quite honest, how many players really, when you saw them, they went from being like the best in the high school to the best in, in any league? LeBron, Kobe, and even then, Kobe was, Kobe, no, Kobe wasn't number one. He wasn't picking number one overall, but I mean, I guess you could say Kobe. Who else? Um, Adrian Peterson in football. Who probably, arguably, is the only player, at least that I've seen in my lifetime, that went from being the best high school player to the best college player to the best pro. One of the best pros. Hall of Famer. Future Hall of Famer. The the Williams, Venus and Serena, Tiger Woods, and Floyd Mayweather. You know, off the top of my head, those are just some of the people. But the rest of the 99.9% the of people transitions at different times so i think dj wagner would be fine you know he, he go to college whatever school he go to he got another year to be in the gym in the lab he's gonna get even physically even bigger and he'll be able to catch up with the speed of the game and just the physicality of the game he'll be way more comfortable and then that transitions into the pros but Look, Michael Jordan was in the NBA, I mean, in college at UNC for three years. People make it seem like when you don't, if you're not a one and done, you're a bust. And it just, it just mind boggles me because it makes no logical sense. The majority of the greatest players of all time were college players. But I wish DJ Wagner nothing but the best. Like I said, I, whatever school he go for, I'm rooting for him. And I believe he'll be the the first third generation player because his grandfather played his father played i remember when he scored 101 points in high school and then he would go and i honestly believe that that's going to happen it's just going to take some time but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think